This is going to be another comparison video because you guys seem to love them and learn a lot from them. And I'm just going to take some outfits where I just have a very simple piece and maybe it looks a little frumpy, maybe it just looks really boring, and I'm going to just add some things to it, change some pieces out, and teach you guys how you can make a very boring or frumpy outfit become absolutely fabulous. So if you love this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please hit that subscribe button and the little bell to get notifications so you don't miss any of my content. So first, I wanna start off with my favorite definition of frumpy. And that is to be dressed in an unattractive way. And I want to say that this has nothing to do with age. A lot of people think that it does, and you can dress frumpy really at any age. So these videos are just taking very boring, unattractive outfits and showing you with some very simple and easy steps how to make that outfit look just a little bit more stylish and what I'm calling absolutely fabulous. One of the on-trend items that I think can become frumpy pretty quickly is a maxi dress, especially if you don't do anything to it and if you layer the wrong things over it. So first I wanna show you just the plain boring option that I have, which is just a black long maxi dress with a pair of black knee high boots and I've done nothing else to myself. So I haven't added any accessories. I haven't done anything to my hair other than have it down. And I think this is just, it goes flat. It's just really boring. And if this dress was a lot looser, it would look really frumpy. So in order to make this look better, I decided to add some accessories. So I did a long linear earring and I added a cute little faux fur bag and I also put my hair back in a fun bow barrette. And I think putting the hair back with this having a lot of coverage on the top half of my body, I think it just helped open it up and it actually makes my top half look a little bit smaller. And it looks like I just really cared and wanted to do something with myself and I put some effort into it. So this is a better version, but to make it even better and even more chic, if you wanted to throw a fun jacket over it or coat, I have this faux fur bomber that I wanted to try over it and it's the perfect length and of course I swapped out the faux fur bag for the black clutch because I did not think the faux fur bag needed to be with the faux fur jacket. And I love this if you're going to a party or somewhere that you just wanna look really fabulous. I think faux fur can really elevate things. But if you don't love faux fur, you could do some type of shorter tweed jacket or just something that complemented the dress that you have. And I really loved the contrast here because the dress is solid black. And I think if you contrast it with a color, on top it helps bring more definition and that's with your accessories or your layering pieces or anything like that and a lot of times a shorter layer with a solid color long maxi dress works better than a longer outer layer because it helps to create definition so i wanted to show you a longer jacket with the dress and i also wanted to just do a fun holiday version of this so i added my sequin blazer and the sequin blazer i think is great it's a good complement to this black dress and it really pops but the length of it makes the outfit a little bit weird and it's not terrible, but I think we can make this better. And I tried to make it better by swapping out the knee high boot with the ankle boot that I have on, but I still think it needs something because the solid color dress underneath the blazer has no definition. To make the outfit look a little bit better underneath the blazer and to have a break, you could add a belt. Now I know not all body shapes can add belts. So if you are a body shape where you could not add a belt or don't like wearing a belt, then try to find a dress that has a different color on top than on bottom or wear a skirt and a top that are different and then put the blazer over it because you really want some definition underneath a longer jacket and I, I think that makes it a little bit more wearable. So what I did is I just added a burgundy belt here because I thought it added a little bit of fun and the burgundy clutch helps bring all of these colors together. And I thought this was great. If you are rectangle like I am, an inverted triangle, pear shape, and hourglass, I really think this would be a good look. And it's definitely a step up from not wearing a belt at all. So for other times that you just wanna be a little bit trendy or you just don't wanna be that dressed up, I wanted to show you this hot pink blazer that I have over the dress. And this hot pink blazer is an oversized blazer with shoulder pads. And I didn't think I was gonna like this, 
but I actually loved this. And the reason why is because of the belt. If I didn't have the belt on, I don't think it would look as good. And I also changed out the dressier sock booty for just the Western inspired ankle boot, just to make it a little bit more casual because I would actually wear this if I was meeting a girlfriend for dinner, or, you know, or just, just wanted to look good, but didn't want to be super dressed up. I thought this was a fun way to do it. So I have mentioned that if you are pear shaped, you can wear these outfits that have a little bit of a longer blazer to them. And I want to mention that, and you probably know this if you're a pear shaped, but you want to make sure that blazer does not hit at the widest part of your hips. You either want to go above or below that. And I think you could still wear this outfit really well. So if you really want to create some definition with your waist, say your hourglass and just don't like wearing oversized pieces, another way that you could execute this outfit is to put the belt over the blazer. Now, I'm on the fence about this. I'm getting used to this look. I've seen people do it and I tried this and I thought it looked okay. It's growing on me. So I would love to know what you guys think of this look in the comments below. So even if your shape would look good in a belt and you don't like wearing belts, which is the case for me years ago, I love them now, but I would never wear them before. Then to create a break in an outfit like this, you can add a longer necklace or even a scarf or something that just creates some definition on your top half from your lower half. So the idea of this is to get a visual of a one third to two third ratio, which is what I've talked about. It's called the rule of thirds and it's just more appealing to the eye. So a lot of times the look is frumpy because you don't have that one third to two third ratio or two thirds to one third ratio from top to bottom. And this is a good way to think about putting your outfits together. I don't think it's the only way, but in order to not look frumpy, I think this is a good guideline to use when you are getting dressed. So honestly, I saved the easiest one for last with this dress, because if you don't want to wear a belt, you don't want to worry about a longer necklace or you know creating that division in the outfit underneath the jacket then a great way to do that, and this is for all body shapes, is to wear a shorter jacket. So something that creates that one third to two third ratio that I just talked about, because this is the perfect look. You've got the jacket that you really see, it draws your eye to it, and then the dress underneath, and it stops right at your waist or a little below your waist. So it creates good proportions on your body. And I think that is the best way to go. If you are struggling with longer jackets or blazers, find something that's a little bit shorter that will complement the dress that you have on or the outfit you have on and make it look a little bit more elevated and less frumpy. So moving on from the dress, I have another item that I think can quickly become frumpy and it is this new white top that I have. So it's got puff sleeves and big bows. So it really adds volume to the top half of your body. And in this outfit, I styled it with some skinny jeans and tucked it in and put on a tan ankle boot and had the cute little tan bag that matched. And I thought this was okay, but there are a couple things about this outfit that I don't love. One is my upper half looks way bigger than my bottom half. So the proportions there to me are not great. And this is a great example of sometimes when you have something on top that's a little too much that you don't want to wear something super slim on the bottom. A lot of people think really loose, super slim is what needs to go together. And I don't think that that always applies. And I think this is a good example. And I know some of you are probably going to say that you love this outfit and it looks amazing. But I'm going to show you a couple of other versions that look better and I'll show you side by sides and then you can decide whether you still like it or not. This is also a really good example of sandwich dressing or what I like to call contrast dressing, which I talked about in my last video. I'll link it here if you want to check that out. But what it is is just taking the same color top and wearing the same color shoes and having something contrasting, something a different color in between. So here you're seeing the white top, the lighter boots. So it doesn't have to be the exact color in the shoes, but if you're wearing a lighter top, you want to stay lighter in the shoes and vice versa for darker. So I love the idea that I have done this here, but I do think that we can make this a lot better. And what I did to make it better was to add the sequin blazer over it. So this is a good example where it shows a longer piece over something like that. It helps minimize the look of the blouse 
and it really works a lot better for my shape. Now, if you are pear-shaped or hourglass, that first version might look really good on you because you will be a little bit better balanced than a rectangle shape like I am. And I also have somewhat broad shoulders, so when I have heavier things on top, it just makes my bottom half look really skinny if I have something too skinny on the bottom. So I just think the blazer helps bring everything together. It creates a cohesive look and with it a little bit longer, I think it helps minimize my top half with that kind of bulkier blouse. And I really love the bows kind of hanging out and I really love this version and I would definitely wear this. So my favorite way to wear this top was with loose straight leg jeans that are a lighter wash. I felt like this was a little bit more of a modern and chic look. And I think if they were the jeans were too loose, this would get a little bit frumpy. So I would never do a wide leg or anything wider than this that I have on. But I do think that this jean provides a little bit better balance with the top than the really skinny jeans because you still get some definition in the body with the top tucked in. You just don't look so unproportioned on the bottom, if that's a word, than the top. And the ankle boot helps balance it, but I think if you wanna make this even more wearable for those ladies that really wanna see outfits with flat shoes, I wanted to show you my pointed toe flats with this because I thought this was still a good option. It looks really good because of that pointed toe. It helps elongate even though I am 5'4 and I am short. So this is a great way to put an outfit together to look on trend because I think flats are coming back, especially the ballet flats. You could do the round toe, but I really love the pointed toe with something like this to make it look a little bit better, especially if you are short like I am. So I have gotten questions about how to style shorter oversized cardigans and I have a pink one that I wanted to put in this video because I also have a pair of slit front leggings that have been really popular on my channel and I absolutely love them just to throw on. I don't think you have to dress them up. So this outfit takes my pink oversized crop sweater and I put it over just a crew neck white t-shirt with the leggings and my golden goose sneakers and honestly, to me, this looked pretty frumpy. And this is something that someone might commonly throw on when they wanna to run to the grocery store or just running around during the day. And I really wanna show you that some simple changes can really make a big difference. So the changes I made in this outfit were to swap out the crew neck for a V-neck and then to put my hair back in a ponytail because you automatically notice now that my upper body looks smaller compared to when I had the crew neck on, especially with this oversized sweater that has the balloon sleeves. And then I just added some earrings and a necklace and it just draws your eye to the top of my body and it actually looks flattering as opposed to the crew neck, which I thought looked a little bit frumpy. And that's the only change that I made, but I did want to add my black belt bag over this for on the go because this is my new favorite bag and I think it goes perfectly with an outfit like this. I think it complements the outfit and gives it a little bit more cuteness and doesn't look frumpy at all. I think it looks very stylish, very chic, and I would wear this outfit all day long. And if you're having a bad hair day and wanna add a cute ball cap to this, I also think that is another elevated version of this that looks very stylish. So a lot of times it's just about making simple changes like necklines or lengths of your outerwear or putting your hair back, makeup on, adding some accessories, shorter necklace, longer necklace, Think about those things as you're creating your outfits. And hopefully these examples have been very helpful for you to see what some of those really, really small changes can do. Because it's just thinking about it a little bit better and it doesn't take a whole lot more effort. So I think if you do that, you can really take some of your frumpier, boring outfits to look more attractive and very fabulous. So I really hope that these will help you take your outfits from boring boring and frumpy to absolutely fabulous. And if you love this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and the little bell to get notifications so you don't miss any of my content. And I would love for you to leave me a comment below of what you think and if you have any suggestions for these videos because I'm going to continue to do them. And thank you guys so much for watching. Love your neighbor, be kind, and I will talk to you next time.